I think the gospel actually has something to say about us thriving personally and professionally. Mm. And I think when I started to think about the gospel and how it ought to impact us like personally and professionally, mm. then it feels like my whole, ima- like the gridlock I had imaginatively, like it, it felt like it just opened up, mm. right? Like mm. now all of a sudden, like the gospel does have something to say about how we're thriving, yeah. flourishing, right? And, ha- and, and, and it cares about work, right? So yeah. like, all the theology of work stuff started mm-hmm. kicking in. Um, but then like in like really concrete granular ways, the doctorate, uh, uh, the doctoral work has been pushing me towards like, well, what adaptive shift do I need to make from saying like, um, I, I'm, I'm here to care for somebody one-on-one, mm-hmm. but I wonder if I'm also here to care for the shared life and health and morale of the organization. Hmm. Right. Yeah. So, so like making the shift from like, I'm not just here to care for people one on one. Like huh. I can do that. But if I help the system yeah. or the culture or the organization thrive, if I help that thrive, then everybody thrives. Right. Right. That's a that's a big change, I would think, in terms of, uh, well, for you, but also yeah. then, I don't know, for your supervisors for um Mr. Oh, one, Owen. <laughs> 100 <laughs> percent like so so like here here's the thing is that like um uh one of my favorite things to be thinking about lately that i'm really curious about is you know i i've heard of this in corporate settings and in church settings like hey like you got to stay in your lane mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um so I, when i started teasing out a few you know of these ideas I I would hear this voice of like, you got to stay in your lane. Yeah. Um, last year, I think I heard Adam Grant say something like, you know, it, you know, changing lanes is how you grow. You just mm. have to tell people mm-hmm. that you have to signal that you're changing lanes. Mm. Yeah. Right. So then I, I started to think through like, well, I, isn't it all of our responsibility chaplain included to care for the health and vitality and morale mm-hmm. of the organization? Yeah. So then part of my doctoral work and my thesis has been like, how do I make this shift? Number one, myself. Yeah. um, And then number two, like, what does that look like practically? And, and part of that is having to educate people that like, Hey, I'm making a shift. I'm changing. 